Hi and hello, welcome to a movie where I create a simple proofing press that I print my lino cut art on. I didn't do quite well with the footage, and some parts are missing, but I will tell you about the tools and the parts in use. A wooden table and two pairs of steel flat bars are cleaned and have been drilled at the ends. The table is around 85 cm long and 50 cm wide, allowing me to press lino cut forms of up to 65 cm length. The steel bars are 1 cm thick for the bottom of the press and 5 cm thick at the top of the table. Those bars will be the rays that the printing assembly will ride on. At the bottom the four pairs of bearings and at the top, the roller will have a point of contact. The space of 5 cm is for the printing form, papers, and printmaking felts to be used. Heavy duty glue is used to fix bars and tabletop. Additionally the screws will be used to strengthen the structure and will become a stopper so the roller assembly won't slide off the table. I'm using a tall M8 screws that go through both steel pieces and wood, along with some spacers and nuts. Two 5 cm thick steel plates are drilled with two holes for bearings, three holes for support rods, and one hole in the middle for press roller. The precision is key here to get an even impression and avoid problems in the future, with parts that working unevenly, may wear out faster.
The table is impregnated with wood oil. I used tongue oil as it was the type I had. It was recommended to me, when I was creating a kitchen knife to be used for the knife handle. This oil is extracted from Chinese tongue tree seeds, it penetrates well has a clear coating and hardens in contact with air. Is widely available but you can use something else if you want to. It should be something to strengthen the wood, as any damage of the printing table can result in worsening quality of prints. This is assembly of the drilled steel plates that create the tower of press. This is the bottom of the press and an assembly where bearings create a point of contact on the bottom rail, and lock the pressing roller in place. On a M12 long screw, goes a spacer, and nut, bearings, and another nut to hold it in place. I've added some rubber on top of the steel rail. As my drilling plan was a little bit off and I had too much space between bearings holes and a roller. It resulted in some movement which may not be that bad, but I didn't want to have it in first place. The rubber I used was from offset printing factory I was working in years ago. But you can use more widely available material like isolation duct tape. Threaded rod and some nuts stabilizes and secures the bottom of plates with bearings. This is an M10 rod that I cut to size with band saw, it's lightweight and does its job. You can see I painted the steel plates Ferrari red. Fortunately you can't see very well how bad I am with spray painting, but I assure you I do better job with painting brush and oils. At the top of press. The roller is installed with spacers and nuts. The height between roller and pressing table is fixed by the height of the top steel bars, 5 cm. The roller rods are sturdy M18, ensuring it can bear the pressure. Additional threaded rods are installed.
On one of them a crude wooden handle is positioned in the middle. Yes I carved it myself but I gotta say the wooden shavings and dust around the house are quite a nuisance now. I secure it with some more spacers and nuts. Let's see how she works. Printmaking copper paint is mixed with some oil. Lino cut form is inked with my tiny brayer.
The pressure is adjusted via using felts with different thickness, and a paper sheet to protect felts from being dirtied by paint. and press. This is a lino cut print of my tiger in lilies. In copper on black paper, copper on cotton paper, and black version. Remember to check out my oil paintings and my lino cut prints. Mm -hmm.